we have to make the choice whether we want concrete wheat or we want food wheat. Because the volcano showed us how vulnerable we are when we think we're into something. No. You look at you look at the amount of lands that was lost in the north. Agricultural, arable agricultural lands that was lost in the north. And you still, the remnant that is left in the south, you still insist to cover it up with concrete. Now, who are you thinking of? Are you thinking of the security of a population? Or are you thinking of yourself? Is it a nation thing? Is it a family thing? Is it, is it you're building a kingdom or you're building a hut? What is it? What is it that you're really building? Me, I listen to you all the time, man. So you try to tell me. How long do I depend on this land, really? Well, all them time I should be around into all 29 years, you know, yeah. 29 years? True, sir. So after 29 years, you just give us move like that? Run. We're still so, between you like that, run. So the, the, you, you was never, never had no negotiation with, with the man and them? The man and them come and pass an order on me, not a negotiation. I could not call that a negotiation because they was telling me and they had no ears for anything I had to say. No. But this is a serious, this is a serious matter, my brother. No. Because if you just come and take your land like that, and yeah, you be the only, be the only one who do, who do that too? No, I mean, no. My brother, when I man come here, stab someone near out there. With a who? A fork and a cutlass. Half ounce of watermelon seed. Now, what the government did in that time, they plow the whole land like that and just leave it so. The rough plow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I went and borrowed some money and paid a man to refine the place. The man wait until the hot sun started to burn. Then he come. The water was there at the time. I just want to watch my money burn. <coughs> when I do get a crop of melon out there, three crop in a row, cattle reap the best of it. I still put that behind and move around because I know. Well, let me ask you something, you see, because as I come here today, as I seen a strange object I never met it before. I seen a steak in the yard eh? I look like a Sovera. Something so happened that Sovera come in your place. I had no knowledge of that. Yeah, I had no knowledge. Even in the farm. No one didn't tell me they come in to do any steak or anything. So I automatically they were trying to show you then. It's them place you don't and never have a negotiation, never come to reason with the eye. No, well. <laughs> you see, here we go. This is madness, on. man. No, here we go, sir. We, as the situation is, it is something that I'm trying to get across to our people. We, as the situation is, we do not have any choice in these matters. No, no you can't. Because, because, you see, they don't even have us as, as people, uh, as human. We are just things, subjects to them. So, you come in and take away land now for put concrete on, where food should be ready for juicing from for feeding the nation and hoping for something that you don't show if it will ever exist again? The authorities has decided that we must, not, we must not be in a position to deliver this to our people because they say they want the land to put concrete on. If the authorities was seriously thinking about development for the people, don't you think this could have been an ideal area that we could grow these things on different mints and different seasoning and time to supply to the same hotel organic and also other vegetables to supply to the same hotel. Is it that we shouldn't own anything in this area? Or what? So many people think that, who oh, Shaka, you should just take the money from the government and work out. What is that really? Really, 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 really. <laughs> really and truly, what is that? 
the these people come and they say, well, I mean, they just hand me down an order. <laughs> there was no form of negotiation. This is it. Take it or leave it. We'll just use the law and take away your land. Now, they come, they say, three options for you. You take some money, which I consider spitting on my hand. You make, or you make a swap, and we build a house for you. Uh, what was it? What was the next one? <laughs> Put the money in the field. Eh? Put the money in the field. Yeah. No, look at that. In the picture, in the whole picture, I was nowhere in the negotiation when you're talking about some land that's supposed to be long to me. You come and you say, this is what it is, nothing else. Because this is how it is now. That, in my view, is using the power of the state to put me under duress. So you went behind me and determined how much I want, I want. So then you convince me now that I'm in a better position. Tell me how I am in a better position. Our only choice in these matters to stop these authorities from doing these things to us, we must rise and take forward our land from them. I personally feel, you know, there's a real wrong they're doing to the eye, you know. Well, yeah. you, you see, in the whole thing, it's not a wrong they're doing to I because they can't do no wrong to I. They're doing a wrong to the people because Nation. this belongs to the people. They're stopping food production. They're doing a wrong to the people. We want to live a life that is free from diseases and sickness by eating healthy food. Uh, we want to get concrete. Uh, they say that we could produce organic herbs and food here for the hotel. We will be employ also employing people who can get work in the hotel. Yeah. It still is a spread. Right? Now, His Majesty Emperor Eli Selassie taught us that development without morality will not benefit the people. And this is where we are. Because now, here we go, sir. You give me a little work only to build the hotel. After that, what am I going to do? Then you give me sister a little walk down there to wash to cup and wash to plate. What is that? What is that about? Will there be any one of us as the manager for the hotel? What is, we, what is our role in the hotel? I mean, is this is what you want to feed a nation with? Thank you. And our, 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 our people. <laughs> Let me happy here still. We can't, you know. Now, what are you going to tell your children and grandchildren when they ask you where were you when this was taking place? When they come to ask you, mommy and daddy, granny, grandpa, where is my house spot? You tell them go run from the Chinese. You tell them go run from the Syrian. You go tell them go run from the Jamaican sandals. What are you going to tell them? In a land where they were born. Our parents and grandparents secure more than a house part for us. What are we securing for our children and our grandchildren? A barren land? Let us decide what is it we want for our children. Too many of us think that this thing is about us, but it's not about us because we, someone else is responsible for us to be here and we have to be responsible for others to be here. It's not about us. We get anything mixed up, right? We get in the thing mixed up. It is not about us. It is not about what li our little handout that our artists could, could give to us. It's what we preserve for our coming generation to ensure continuity of our people. How else we could ensure continuity of our people if we don't have food? If we don't have no land, where will we live? Our water supply is drying up. But instead of planting trees, we plant in concrete. Life is a balance. We have to be in things that we could maintain and at, and at the same time it can maintain us as well. We have to be a productive people. We have to have as 
as little as 60% production to 50% consumption, and then we can start to build. We can't depend on, 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 on people giving us the kind of food that they think we need, food that continue to destroy our organs. Malcolm X, who control your food, control your life, our people acknowledge this. If I feed in you, I could determine what you eat, when you eat, how you eat, and I could determine how long you live. Our people, that never used to happen to our, our grandparents and parents you know, because they knew the importance of food security. No, we can't be serious with this kind of way we're dwelling with. No, we have to wake up and live.